All right, well, to some happier news now, and Kenya's goalkeeper, Patrick Matasi, was a hero of the day today, saving three penalties as Kenya reclaimed the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup with a 3-2 win over Zanzibar. Both teams settled for a two-all draw in regular time, forcing the match to be decided by penalties. The win gives Kenya her seventh Sekafa title. Robinson and Kenya followed the action and now joins us with this story, a very happy ending to a rather anxious moment for her and stars. Robinson, did you expect things to go the way they did? Well, Michelle, as you've just uh, put it, it was a very uh, anxious match. Uh, lots of drama in the match. I remember uh, Kenya was leading in the match from the fifth minute, but uh, Zanzibar had to wait until the 89th minute to equalize. Kenyans already knew that the match was going their way, but uh, Zanzibar had other, you know, had other ideas in the match. And uh, after, when the match went into extra time, the same, same thing was happening with Kenya scoring. Zanzibar had, uh, had an answer. Kenya scores, then uh, Zanzibar had an answer. But first, let's take a look at the highlights from uh, that match where Kenya reclaimed uh, the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup. William in Machakos with a place to be It did not take time for Kenya to prey on our opponent as Ovela Ocheng struck in the opener for Kenya. Stars seemed to have the match going to their favor, but Kamisi Makame had other ideas as he slotted in the level in the 89th minute, forcing the game into extra time. Kenya piled pressure on their opponents in added time, and in the 98th minute, Masood Juma doubled Kenya's lead. Yes! <laughs> Despite the home side taking the lead, Zanzibar seemed to have answers to Kenya's questions, and two minutes later, Zanzibar leveled, forcing the match to be decided by penalties. Patrick Matasi turned a hero, saving penalties from Mohamed Isajuma, Adeyum Seif, and Kamisi Makame as Kenya emerged the winner. Mohamed With the win, Harambe Stars players are now assured at least 180,000 shillings as part of the winner's bonus announced by Football Kenya Federation. Robinson Okenye, KTN Sports. So rather impressive seventh title there for Kenya Robinson. Thanks to one Patrick Matasi saving three impressive penalties there. But how has Kenya's run been in this Akafa Senior Challenge? Well, Michelle, Kenya has had uh, a good run in the championship. I remember this, the two goals that Kenya conceded in regular times, those are the only goals that Kenya has conceded in the entire period that Sekafa has been running. Those were the only two goals uh, and uh, the other two that Kenya conceded in uh, the penalties that Patrick Matasi has conceded in the entire uh, Sekafa 2017 campaign. So he's had a good run, and I think uh, for him being the man of the match and saving the penalties the way he did was a, a, a good way to show that he's not, he was not in goal just, you know, just by show. He was there for a reason, and uh, this goes a long way, you know, in bringing back confidence into the team. Remember, uh, a section of Kenyans probably had lost some confidence with... Uh, 
the way Harambe Stars was playing, but now this will go a long way in bringing confidence back into Kenyans who probably were critics of the national team. And also, uh, it's a good way for the national uh, team head coach, that is uh, Paul Put, to begin his reign as the Kenyan coach. Remember, he's almost a month old as uh, Harambe Stars head coach and uh, winning the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup, that is one way to start it. So let's take a look at, you know, how many times uh, Kenya has won uh, the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup and whom they've played in the final. So we take a look at uh, 1975, that is when Kenya won it and they played uh, Malawi uh, and the game ended 4-3 on post-match penalties. Then in 1981, Kenya played the host Tanzania and uh, Kenya won 1-0. Uh, that was the second time uh, Kenya won it. Then uh, the following year, that was in 1982, Kenya played uh, Uganda in the finals. The game ended one all, but uh, it had to be decided on post-match penalties where Kenya won 4-3. 1983, the following year, that was... Uh, in here in Kenya, Kenya uh, won it at home. Remember, Kenya has won the Kafa Senior Challenge them uh, three times here at home, despite hosting the Challenge uh, the Challenge uh, Cup uh, seven times. So in 1983, Kenya won it here at home. Now in 2002. Uh, the tournament was hosted in Tanzania and Kenya beat the host 3-2. Uh, 2013, that is the last time before 2017, 2013, Kenya winning here at home 2-0, uh, beating Sudan at the Nyao Stadium 2-0. And then we had uh, today Kenya drawing with uh, Zanzibar 2 all, then moving on to win with post-match penalties, uh, winning the match 3-2. But uh, one thing that stands out from the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup that came to a conclusion this afternoon, remember a team like Zimbabwe pulled out citing security issues. So the whole tournament has been successful uh, according to you know Football Kenya Federation, and we've not had incidences reported here and there in terms of security. And so that goes a long way in uh, showing how the country is. Remember, a number of teams, for example, Zimbabwe, had issues with security. That is why they decided to pull out of the 2017 edition of uh, uh, Sekafa. We also, uh, since it's a tournament that... Uh, Incorporates, incorporates uh, home-based players, so it goes a long way in giving the home-based players, uh, you know, an, an opportunity in showcasing what they can. Back to you, Michelle. All right, uh, thank you, Robinson. Can you? There's some good news in the world of sports.